Micro Mouse Goes Debugging was probably the first ever meta computer game. Our objective is to debug very short basic programs by collecting and replacing characters nicked from your code by some mischievous creepy crawlies. And when you succeed, the program is actually executed to produce a little display for you as a reward. It's a super clever touch that really pulls you into the games inside your CPU environment. And while the run and fetch gameplay is pretty standard stuff, the setting lends a touch of narrative class. But boy, it can be frustrating. Bizarrely, MC Lothlorien produced a completely different game with the exact same title six years later. This has a separate style gameplay compared to the original, and in this version, you guided Micro Mouse around a circuit board, picking up parts and placing them in the correct spot. Another one of the August Press 30 Games titles, that I said I'd probably get around to getting through someday, and there's a good few already up on the channel. This one, however, I don't seem to recall as much as the others. Probably because it just didn't hold my attention for long as a kid. And as soon as I saw all that code flying around everywhere, it probably just scared me off, as I maybe thought it would be a little too complicated to understand how to play. Whereas that couldn't be as far from the truth. The problem is that some characters within this weenie program listing are flashing and keep disappearing, and the cause of their disappearance soon manifests itself as there is a bug in the program, or several in fact, all with different colours corresponding to the colours of the letters, which they will steal from the code. They keep nipping around the screen, ripping the CHRS out of the lines and restoring them to one of the four corners. If this goes on for too long, then there will be a serious systems crash. Your job is to dash about collecting the errant letters from the four corners and restore them where they are required. As fast as you work, the bugs are bugging out like no buggy's business, ripping them out again. Contact with a busy bug delays you, but there is a remedy, a glowing mass of data kill. Run over it, and you're empowered to spray the bugs, which gets rid of them for a few moments at least. I'm not quite sure why a mouse should be thought of as a debugger, if you'll pardon the expression, but he's quite cutely drawn, so perhaps they're alright. The graphics are all quite large, the bugs especially look very good, with twinkle tore animated legs and very smooth movement. In a sense, it's a rather depressing task, Herculean almost, for as hard as you replace the letters, the faster the bugs take them away. Perhaps that's the main drawback to the game, it doesn't really seem to get anywhere. Still, the getting nowhere is all very jolly and reasonably challenging. I found in the end that I settled for the data kill and went on a massive bug killing operation until the system crashed around me. It's a good idea, and the execution was good, but nevertheless, it doesn't really have arcade appeal after all. The obvious trouble with it was that, as a game, there's no real skill factor involved, beyond a straightforward ability to manipulate your micro mouse as swiftly as possible. So after a few minutes playing it, you'll find it starts to lose its attraction. Fun to begin with, but certainly not very addictive. But, unlike back when I was a kid, I'm sure this may appeal to the younger players out there who want to give it a shot on the Commodore 64. Thanks for watching guys, do you remember this obscure little title? Maybe you also had the Argus Press 30 games compilation? Let me know in the comment section, and please don't forget to hit the like button. If you're enjoying the Commodore nostalgia, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel, where we revisit games that time may have forgotten with the aim being to keep the Commodore dream alive. There's so many games in the library, and more coming daily, so do be sure to follow me on this epic journey. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye for now.